Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Miami. I'm Marcelo, and I will be your downtown Miami concierge. And today, we're going to be talking about downtown Miami. And I'm going to be showing you around the renovations that's being done right now on Flagler Street and all around downtown in the next three years or so. So, um, I'm going to start by talking about Flagler Street, which is the main artery and the main street of downtown Miami. Right now, it's under construction, and it's going to be under construction for the next two to three years. Um, so, let me give you a little bit of a history. Flagler Street is named after Henry Flagler. Henry Flagler is a very important person in the development of downtown Miami. He was an industrialist on the late 1800s, and he started out in Ohio with oil and gas. And then he also invested in the railroad company. And one of his family members was sick and somebody suggested to him to move down to Jacksonville, Florida to warm weathers. So he did and then he decided to bring the railroad down to Florida all the way to Jacksonville and then all the way to West Palm Beach, Florida where he then decided to build a nice hotel called the Royal Ponciana. The hotel later became the Breakers Hotel which is a very very famous hotel in Palm Beach, Florida which is where the billionaires all own homes or I should say mansions. After that, he decided to continue down south with his railroad all the way to downtown Miami, where he met with the Brickle family, and he made it a trading post in downtown Miami in the Miami River with the Brickle family. Because of that, he was named the father of Miami. He became a very important person on the development of the east coast of Florida that brought the railroad all the way from north to downtown Miami. He has a hotel named after him, he has a street named after him, and even a color called the Flagler, the yellow Flagler. Anyways, now we're here at the Flagler Street, where Flagler Street meets Biscayne Bay. That's where the beginning of the downtown renovation starts, right behind me. Now we're gonna start talking about what's gonna happen to downtown Miami within the next three years, starting with this construction behind me. The Downtown Miami Beautification Project and the Flagler Street Beautification Project is overseen by the Miami DTA, which stands for Downtown Development Authority. And that's the organ that's responsible for the beautification project of the downtown area and Flagler Street. And I'm gonna show you the key points of uh, the main objective of this project. This project has uh, the objective of beautifying Flagler Street that starts at Biscayne Boulevard all the way to Northwest First Avenue. And it will be divided in five sections, A, B, C, D, E, in different phases. And every phase will be about 10 to 12 months to complete. So the whole project will take approximately between three to four years. One of the most important objectives is to create a festival style street where they're going to create a 10 feet wide sidewalk and they're going to raise the street level to the great level which will be curbless that way we improve the pedestrian experience walking around flagler street they will also limit the amount of parking space in flagler street and they will make it available valley parking throughout the street they will also be installing uh, railroad crossing gates in each intersection. That way they can block the streets to make festivals, concerts, or gatherings around the neighborhood. They will be also planting, as you can see, large trees that will create more shade, and there will be more seating area throughout the street and places to hang out, and a lot of outdoor cafes and, and restaurants. They will also be installing local art from local artists throughout the street and they will make seating area available in designer benches. And, uh, like I mentioned before, it will be large trees planted all around along Flagler Street all the way from the Skinny Boulevard to the First Avenue by the courthouse. As you can see, they've been raising the great level, so it will be curbless. And they will be installing railroad crossing gates to make it available and possible to make block parties in the future. They will be installing LED lights 
along the street and they will be making plenty plenty of investment. So the beginning phase of the construction is going to be section A and section B being done together and uh, section A starts in Skate Boulevard and comes all the way to 3rd Avenue where I am right now which is in the middle of it and looking that way which is section B he goes from 3rd Avenue all the way to 2nd Avenue over there. Let's go check it out. As you can see right now we're on 2nd Avenue which is uh, the place where they are completing phase 1 and 2 which is A and B. Uh, Boulevard all the way to 2nd Avenue. As you can see, the construction is still going on, and I'm thinking it's about two months away from being completed. It has started on May 2021, so I believe that Section A and B will be completed within a year from its beginning date. From now, from now, it will start from 2nd Avenue to 1st Avenue, and then 1st Avenue to North Miami Avenue. So right now we're walking the block from 2nd Avenue to 1st Avenue. This is going to be the next phase of the uh, construction. It could be done together with a section C and D. But let's see how it goes. Uh, I, hope, I hope it really they can be completed together, C and D, in another year to be completed. But it will go from 2nd Avenue all the way to 1st Avenue, and then from 1st Avenue all the way to North Miami Avenue. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, most of the shops around here are closed. Most of them, they ran out of business because of the pandemic. So, and some of them, most of the developers, they decided to wait until the construction part is done so they can start leasing again because they know if they lease the business right now, um, it's got another two years to go and the business might fail because of the, the construction site and people don't really like to walk around construction sites. So the Miami DDA, which is the Downtown Development Authority, also has in place many different grants and incentives for new business to come into town. Uh, you can apply for these incentives if you're willing or if you're thinking about moving your business to Miami. You can apply for those grants on the MiamiDDA.com. If you're bringing or relocating your business here and you're creating 10 new jobs, that's when you're gonna get the grant within the first three years of your relocation. There's also other grants and uh, incentives for promoting downtown Miami as uh, a place for dining, for a place for events, for promoting downtown Miami as an international uh, location for tourism. So here, ladies and gentlemen, is section E, the last phase of the renovation of Flagler Street, which is starts in North Miami Avenue, all the way to Northwest First Avenue, which is up ahead, and this is where the courthouse is, and that's gonna be the very end of the Flagler Street renovation. So this is the very last block of the Flagler Street renovation. This is where West Flagler meets Northwest First Avenue, and this is where the civil courthouse is. So right now underway is a brand new courthouse, which is being built right across the street from this courthouse. It's going to be massive, brand new, very modern, and it should be done in the next two to three years with the completion of the renovation of Flagler Street. And right here, ladies and gentlemen, is where Northwest First Avenue meets West Flagler Street, which, like I said, the very end of the construction renovation of Flagler Street is. And this is where you can see is uh, the train station right over there. And this is the section where all the railroads meet. Uh, So we got the metro rail running right up above. That will take you from south to north to the airport. And the tracks below that is the metro mover that will take you within downtown area in Brickell and Edgewater. And also there is the bright line, which is a speed train that will take you from downtown Miami to downtown Fort Lauderdale to downtown West Palm Beach and eventually to Orlando and Disney within the next year or so. And this section here, ladies and gentlemen, where it's under construction right now, it's going to be called the Miami Central because it's centralized and it's connected to the Metro Rail, the Bright Line, and the Metro Mover. And also it's going to be a big bus station here that will connect everyone to every part of Miami possible. It's going to be two grand towers, 83 stories high each, which will have 130,000 square feet of retail space and also 816 luxury rental residences. And much, much more. It is on the way right now. It occupies six city blocks. It will be massive and it will bring a lot of business into downtown.
And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, downtown Miami is under big renovation. There's construction going on everywhere. Uh, and it's a massive project, which includes the beautification of Flagler Street, which goes from Biscayne Boulevard all the way to First Avenue here by the courthouse, which is uh, about eight city blocks. And uh, the business will be restored, renovated, because they're giving incentives for business owners. Whoever is leasing the next round, they will have incentives to beautify the facade of every business. So that will bring a lot of value also to the area with new coffee shops and restaurants and boutique stores and art galleries and whatever you can possibly think of. This is the time right now if you're actually looking into investing in downtown Miami, this is the time to do it. Because you can negotiate your prices and you can apply for all these grants and incentives going on right now. And if you're interested in bringing and promoting downtown Miami to the rest of the world, you also get some incentives if you have an idea for an event or a festival or a party or a block party. Uh, bring it on. Let the Miami DDA know your idea, your project, and they can help you with money. They have um, incentives up to fifteen, thirty thousand dollars depending on the size of the festival or event you're trying to create. There are also many other residential projects going on in other city blocks, not on Flagler Street, but other city blocks just next to Flagler Street, like Airbnb buildings that will have uh, residences and they will be catered to the Airbnb community. Also, there will be a lot of hotels and, and boutique hotels and many other projects that is coming to downtown Miami within the next three years. about this project or future projects around here, Flagler Street beautification or other parts of downtown Miami and Brickell, uh, please research on the MiamiDDA.com. You can also contact me. I'll be happy to give you information about future projects in the area. It is a very exciting time to invest. Uh, downtown Miami is transitioning to something that's going to be incredible in the next few years. There will be the new Lincoln Road, the better Lincoln Road. It's interesting that a lot of people that come to downtown Miami right now and walk around the streets of Flagler Street and see all this closed and failed business, they get scared and they think the city is bankrupt, but it isn't. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just waiting for the next big phase right now. So it's actually a very exciting moment to be here and to be part of this transition.